If you've been around long enough to remember the 1980s, you might remember it as the last decade before cell phones really took over, when the hairstyles were big, and home computers were still a novelty. But here in Oregon, when we weren't watching Madonna or Phil Collins on MTV, we were grappling with bigger issues. Oregon's economy was in a downturn, but voters were less than thrilled with the idea of increasing property taxes or income taxes to address the issue. Voters wanted a new, creative source of revenue to kickstart Oregon's economy. In the 1984 general election, Americans re-elected Ronald Reagan and George Bush to office. At the same time, here in Oregon, voters passed Ballot Measure 4, establishing the Oregon Lottery by constitutional amendment. The first scratch -it ticket, a $1 charmer called Pot of Gold, went on sale the following April. Other scratch -its and jackpot games soon followed. While many people assume the lottery was started to fund education, remember, in 1984, it was all about the economy. For the next decade, all lottery proceeds went to the state general fund, earmarked exclusively for projects that would stimulate Oregon's stagnant economy. The 80s, of course, gave way to the 90s, ending both the Reagan years and setting telephone booths on the path to extinction. And here in Oregon, things changed for the lottery too. Voters decided that there were other important programs and causes worthy of lottery funding. In the 90s, voters added public schools, state parks, and natural habitats as lottery beneficiaries. Later still, Business Oregon was established, a new state agency that would distribute lottery funds earmarked for economic growth to projects that support Oregon businesses, communities, and people. Projects that would promote a globally competitive, diverse, and inclusive economy. In recent years, Oregon voters added two more programs as lottery funding recipients, veteran services and outdoor school. And lottery players can now choose from an even more robust portfolio of games, including video lottery and sports betting, in addition to the scratchets and jackpot games that players have always loved. Although the lottery pie is now divided into several pieces, more than 25% of lottery proceeds are still used to create Oregon jobs and keep our economy strong. To date, the lottery has funded $3.5 billion to Oregon's economic growth, funding projects and creating jobs in every county in the state, including yours. Statewide, that's an average of nearly $100 million every year since Freddie Mercury and Queen wowed the world at Live Aid. Since the Oregon Lottery's founding in the mid-80s, so much has changed, and we're not just talking about hairstyles and personal tech devices. Oregonians have thought carefully about how they want their lottery to benefit the state, and several times they've transformed those thoughts into actions through their votes. But just like in 1984, Oregon's economy remains a vital factor impacting us all. Today, Business Oregon distributes nearly 300 grants a year to companies, cities, and projects in every corner of the state. Thanks to all those Powerball tickets, scratchets, and other lottery game purchases, our support for economic growth grows ever stronger. Your play is helping ensure a more robust and successful Oregon. <laughs>